better sheath, 113. I mean, 13. One in a three. <laughs> Abram went up from Mitzrayim into the south, he and his wife and all that he had, and Lot with him. And Abram was very rich in livestock, in silver and in gold. And he went on his journey from the south as far as Bethel, to the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Ai, to the place of the slaughter place which he had made there at first. And there Abram called on the name of Yahuwah. Now Lot, who went with Abram, also had flocks and herds and tents. And the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together. For their possessions were great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was strife between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. And at that time the Canaanites and the Perizzites dwelt in the land. Then Abram said to Lot, let there be no strife between you and me, and between my herdsmen and your herdsmen, for we are brothers. Is not all the land before you? Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I go to the right. Or if you go to the right, then I go to the left. And Lot lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of the garden, that it was well watered everywhere. Before Yahuwah destroyed Sedum and Amora, like the garden of Yahuwah, like the land of Mitzrayim, as you go toward Soar. So Lot chose for himself all the plain of the garden, and Lot moved east. Thus they separated from each other, Abram dwelling in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelling in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent as far as Sodom. But the men of Sodom were evil and sinned before Yahuwah, exceedingly so. And after Lot had separated from him, Yahuwah said to Abram, Now lift up your eyes and look from the place where you are, northward and southward and eastward and westward. For all the land which you see, I shall give to you and your seed forever. And I shall make your seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could count the dust of the earth, <coughs> excuse me, if a man could count the dust of the earth, then your seed also could be counted. Arise, walk on the land through its length and its width, for I give it to you. So Abram moved his tent and went and dwelt by the terebinth trees of Mamre, which are in Hebron and built a slaughter place there to Yahuwah. That concludes Genesis 13. Thank you.